Okay, um, I thought I would cover uh, a bit of a what I'd class as a hidden gem for Blender, um, which is the Mirror Tools add-on or the Myra Tools. I don't know how you pronounce it. Oh, screencast keys has gone off. These guys, uh, which you can find here. Uh, I'll provide a link in the description below. Um, this I don't use all of these tools, so the videos I'm going to be doing will only be covering a couple of them, the ones I use, <laughs> which are really the C stretch one. If we go in here, there's the C stretch. I use that on all the time. And also, um, I've started getting into the deformer, linear deformer recently, and the unbevel I stumbled upon and I'm going to be showing this first. Now I personally have Mesh Machine and if you have the money, um, again link will be in the description below, uh, go and get it because that's unbevel on steroids. It allows you to do so much, um, not least of which you can fix where bevels go completely wrong. Um, so yeah, if you can afford it, go and get it. Uh, if you can't afford it, or even you just want to explore alternatives, this is pretty good, and it's a lot easier than trying to figure out how to fix something manually. You know, like uh, if we if we take just this one to start with. You know, you think you sort of want to you want to sort this out. You want to get rid of it. Uh, now there is a hack. You can select that, and you press F. That's not really what you want. That's not ideal. So how do you deal with that manually? Um, a lot of moving and welding points, but then again here you've, you've got no point to weld to. What do you do? Well, with mirror tools it's really easy. Uh, you just go into edge mode and you select the edge ring. Now I'm control alt left click. Do that or you can just if you go in select select loops edge rings. Then hit on bevel. Now if it doesn't do out that's because this value is set to one by default when you you load it up and that threw me the first time because I thought well it's at full strength why hasn't it done out? No that's the unbevel value so, which is sort of the inverse of that. So, if your unbevel value is zero, you've unbeveled. But if your unbevel value is one, you've not done anything. But you can also increase that. So, you can see you're getting a different result there. So, boom, that's gone. So, that was easy. Now, let's take these. And I'm going to bevel them like that. Okay, now now that's a bit odd. I don't know what's going on there. It's quite strange. Uh, let's. Don't believe there should any. No, that's quite interesting. Okay, let's try the faces. See if that does anything different. That would suggest those faces aren't exactly aligned. So I'm just going to, I've got loop tools active, I'm just going to flatten that. Do the same there, loop tools flatten. Now let's see, it's a bit of an odd glitch, aha, so yeah it wasn't perfectly flat. So that's interesting to note. So back where we were, right, we want to unbevel this. So you would think you would select all of these and then you would hit unbevel. As you can see that doesn't actually do what you expect it to do. Um, that might be a desire you're going for. might be a handy feature but it's not what you want. And what you need to do is basically select the outer loops. So click that 
control click, shift click, control click. And this is, yeah, it's a bit repetitive this, but again, imagine trying to do this by hand. Now I hit unbevel. And as with before, if I increase that, I actually increase the sort of curve. What I can't do is increase the number of segments. But the way to fix that is simply go down to zero. Do select the edge lip loop and just rebevel it. And that is way easier than trying to do it manually. And it's, it's like things with here again. I'll select the edge ring. There we go. Then I'm going to select the edge loops. And I'm just going to get rid of these here. Then I'm going to hit on bevel. Oh, that did not work out well. Why did that not work out well? Ah. That's why. Let's try that again. There we go. So there then, if you want to, you can either select that and control exit to get rid of it, or you can rebevel it. Either give it more things to make it smoother, or turn it square. So, really useful features. And again, go in there, select these edges, Bevel. Boom. Sorted. What I didn't mention was the installation of this. Um, when you go up here and you get the zip file, that zip file contains mirror tools for everything, which includes Houdini, Nuke, other various things. So you want to go just open up the zip file. Go into the Blender folder, go into the Add-ons folder, choose the 2.8, then extract these to your Add-ons directory, the way I have done. There. And then you just go into Blender, go into your Preferences, Refresh, and then activate them. So I say don't attempt to try and install from the actual zip file because even though it says myth tools master that's not the way it really works you've got to go in here go in there go in there just an fyi so anywho that is the unbevel um the next one i'm going to be looking at is the deformers tools which if anyone's like myself hails from lightwave they will look kind of familiar. They do not have the features that the Lightwave has where you can adjust the fall off type. Um, dearly wish they did. Um, if anyone is actually actively working on mirror tools at the moment or thinking of it, having those extra functions would be really nice. Um, I just show you if. Uh, we just add a box. Oh, add a box. It's been a while. Bear with me. Boom, ba -ba -dum. And then should subdivide that a few times. Okie dokie. And if I go into modify now and I go into taper, I can draw that and pull up the numeric panel. And as you can see, I can change the curve and change various presets. I can change all of these. And I can also manually alter these. So you can make sure that these match or don't match, depending on what you want to do. Those features I would dearly love in the mirror tools that that would be absolutely awesome
but I don't know how doable that is. But uh, anyhow, as I say, that'll be something else we'll be looking at, um, and I'll be showing you how they function because this is the only information you get on them, and it's not really that clear. Um, so, as I say, next video, we'll see what we can do with them. And bye for now.